another day cruising around in the old white noise. I saw one of you guys comment yesterday like, do you notice that you let all your gauges cycle and turn off before you start it? I was like, I didn't even think about it. But I totally do that out of habit. The reason it was supposed to be funny is because it's a gas truck and you don't have to let all your gauges cycle in a gas pickup, at least not any gas pickup I've driven. It's gonna be doing a little bit of a, giving the King Ranch a little TLC, if you know what I'm saying. Look at this. Got that cap life. This is the cleanest I've ever seen this truck bed since it was new. This is nice, this is a good look. This is a good look for this thing. So the King Ranch needs a little bit of love. And what we mean by it needs a little bit of love is it's got a little bit of surface rust popping up here and there on the frame. We just think it could use a little bit of TLC, right? A little, little love. We're doing on the King Ranch, it's got a little bit of a surface rust crisis going on underneath of it. Do you think that's a good description or is that a little bit dramatic? Um, it's, fa it's fairly accurate. I mean, it's on the brink of being a crisis. Yeah. It's not terrible, no. But, but it, it does not have any holes poking through anything, but you can definitely see that it's starting to bubble out, like on the back of the um, rockers and certain parts of the frames. Like it's starting to get some surface rust started. So. We're gonna try to wire brush down some stuff. So we're gonna wire wheel off some stuff, get it to where anything that's flaky, we can get it off. And then we're gonna actually take some, is it like a, some kind of an epoxy or some kind of like paint primer combination stuff that's supposed to like stop rust and also be like a paint and primer mix type of deal. Try to get this all sanded down as best we can and then get it coated up. I did some slightly dramatic shots with a little bit of a break dancing segment, but you can see what we're working with. Like I said, it's not terrible. You know, it's 10 years, 10 years of driving it. Summer, spring, fall, winter, you know. So it's got, it's got some surface rough starting and we're hoping that we can address it. You look like you're ready to go, but you got a problem with breathing in rust flakes or? These dang masks. Dang masks. They fog up the glasses, these anti-fog glasses. <laughs> Not working. Yeah. Spent a little bit more, more money on a quality pair of glasses that still fog up. Yeah. Well. What are you supposed to do? Though? I don't know. Do? I don't know what you're supposed to really do about it. I don't want metal in my eyes and I don't want it in my lungs, so we we'll make do. So let's do it. Quick little update, here's what we're gonna be using. Rust-Oleum 2-in-1 Rust Reform and Seal. This is a mixture of dirt and rust, but most of this is um, what came off of the truck. We broomed everything out. Well, he broomed everything before I got here, which is all the dirt in the bucket. And then I just broomed up all the dust that we just sanded off here. Where did most of the rust come from? b and Hitch, baby. Yeah, that's what this giant chunk, look at this. This huge chunk that came off of, well, all the big chunks, they all came off of the stinking 
B and W. Like B and W hitches when they're new. <laughs> but I will say that thing rotted out faster than any piece of equipment I've ever had. Probably any piece of steel I've ever seen. It still seen. works, but it's just a rusted mess. It's well, like you can't even pull a ball out. No, you can't pull it out. I mean, the one I had in my other trucks, like uh, old Whitey. Yeah. Wasn't it, that a was that a Reese or what was that? It might have been a Reese or a draw tight or something like yeah. that. But everything, even years later, everything still works. You know. But, so I'm a little disappointed in that. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, B and W, but I've heard it from other people too. Well, yeah, and it, and you paid I don't know how much just the hits cost. Oh, but I thought yeah, it was like eight hundred plus dollars. At a, at a place and it yeah. Was good. But anyways, that's anyway. that's the aftermath. We're gonna get to. Coating things up. I was telling him it might not be a bad idea to take it to get rust checked and have them actually coat everything underneath to stop all that surface rust on the body to get that all taken care of. But for now, let's get to coating that frame. With an update, still a little bit wet back here, still in the process of drying. But back here, we did a little bit earlier, so it's probably, yeah, it's more dry right here. You can see how it turned out. Got a little, little overspray on the exhaust there, but not bad. Not quite finished though, but we got to run and we ran out of ran out of some stuff so the timing actually kind of works out but in the process so far it looks pretty good well, hopefully we can get back here in a couple days at some point and finish it up unless we somehow have time tomorrow at some point in the day otherwise most of it's been coated up we just got to finish some stuff Like the front axle needs finished, rear axle needs finished. Everything in here got painted as best we could. That B&W hitch though, you can tell the difference. Like if you look at the frame and how smooth the surface is after sanding it, and then the B&W hitch, it still looks like crap. <laughs> I mean, it was just, it was just rotten. Like look at the frame over there, and then look at the hitch. <laughs> Yeah, difference it's like it's just is like so corroded it's just wild but not a bad amount of progress we're just gonna have to finish it up on another day well guys we did not get to complete the king ranch frame we actually had some things we had to tend to my dad had to run out for a dinner reservation he had with a couple and then i had to actually head out and meet up with my wife at the time and we ran out of paint actually at the exact time that we had to leave anyways we were in the process of it, and then we're like, oh, we gotta go. And then we're both like, we both ran out of paint. So we were not able to finish it in this video, but we will finish it in the next segment. The next segment's not gonna be just about finishing the paint on the King Ranch. We also picked up a new truck. We will show you guys that in the next video as well. I just wanna make sure that that video has an exclusive video just for its reveal. And I think you guys are gonna really, really love it. It resembles a truck that we've had in the past that you guys absolutely loved okay and yes the you know make model and year of this truck we've done a couple times before but this configuration in this setup is going to be like an exceptionally better version of a truck that was like a favorite when we redid the entire thing and this was a couple years ago but we're bringing back a truck that's identical to that I'm talking same year same configuration same color but the difference is a ton more power and more turbos than this last one that we did have. Hopefully guys are excited about that. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully guys are excited. If you have not done so yet, please do consider entering our 30th diesel truck giveaway. Guys, you can enter to win this 2007 59 Cummins plus $5,000 cash. But that giveaway does end in just a few days on April 14th. 
and then that giveaway is gone. So if you wanna get in on that, time is ticking, the clock is running out. Do not waste any time, guys. Like our detailing products and some of our coffee products and some of our handmade like you know wristbands and rings and stuff like that, that stuff will sell out. So if you do not grab something before the last day, there's a good chance a lot of that stuff could be gone. And all of our items are subject to selling out but certain ones are more prone to sell out faster than others. So if you're wanting to grab a certain item and you see that it's in stock on the store today when you go check it out, if I were you, I would definitely consider purchasing it while it is in stock or you might end up not being able to do that and the giveaway could be ending at the end of this week and then you're gonna be like, bummer, dang it. So giveaway does end on Thursday, April 14th. That is the last full day to enter. So if you wanna grab those 30 times entries, which is our highest entry multiplier we offer, Definitely consider doing that while you still can. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.